Okay, uh, we're going to take the uh, pump assembly, which is identical to the motor assembly in the K66, and we're going to install that on the uh, pulley shaft, holding the um, pistons in place with some fingers, hopefully. Okay, it's in. It's on the spline shaft, and I've got positive springs in all the pistons. All right, it's time to start transferring the parts from the old um, center case to the new one. I, I already exchanged the uh, two center, I'm sorry, uh, spring-loaded pins. I uh, tapped them in to hold the uh, pump assembly. And as well, that almighty uh, pin which uh, engages and disengages the uh, freewheel uh, mechanism. We'll put that in and make sure it doesn't go anywhere. At this point we're going to take the new motor kit again placing the uh, motor assembly onto the shaft like such The all-important washer, which you must reuse, it doesn't come with the rebuild kit. And this assembly then fits onto the center case as such. At this point, we're going to attempt to uh, take the entire kit here. Uh, we're going to check the parts box to make sure we haven't missed anything. And transfer it over to the transaxle, which is uh, suspended upside down at the, uh, at the next table. I'm going to take some uh, of the 5W50 oil and lubricate this cylinder and piston before uh, adding the center case. So I'm going to do that at this time. Alright, I think I'm ready to uh, uh, replace the uh, center case and pump as or motor assembly into the crankcase or into the transaxle case and as you can see that pin is intact the freewheel pin that's a good thing I'm going to try to hold that there while I transfer it making sure that the freewheel is uh, perpendicular to the, uh, the axle itself Here we go. All right, with a little finesse and uh, assistance from my cameraman, we were able to get the center case back in the uh, transaxle. The problem was I had this um, this beveled uh, wall here uh, upside down and we were unable to get it in. So right now uh, it's sitting in there. The pin, the pin, the free wheel pin is intact and the gears are uh, uh, lined up as well. Uh, we'll take a rubber mallet and uh, drive this thing home before we uh, reinsert the pin in the, uh, the pulley shaft. Alright, once we uh, have the center case and the motor uh, firmly uh, seated without bolting it on, I wanted to check the operation of the freewheel uh, with the uh, freewheel lever. And uh, by doing so, we should see the motor uh, pop out just a smidge, which it did. I'll release it. Uh, again, engage it. The freewheel is engaged. 
breaking the seal between the motor and the center case. So therefore we know that the uh, pin, the almighty pin, and the wash, which is integral to the pin, uh, are uh, in correct position. We're getting ready to bolt it down to the uh, transaxle case now. The, the pin that secures the uh, pulley shaft to the center case, and I'm going to reinstall this, uh, this uh, offset gear here onto it so it locks it into place. That way we'll not we'll lose a pin down the uh, the pump housing there. Okay, I, I have uh, torqued down these three bolts holding the uh, center case to it and uh, scared me to death watching um, uh, another poster on the internet. Broke one of these bolts, uh, torquing it to 40 pounds. I torqued mine to 30, which is extremely tight, um, and I'm going to leave it at that. Hopefully, I'd rather take that chance rather than to break one of the bolts in the case. I'm going to reassemble the um, the pump charge housing, uh, pump ch uh, charge housing, uh, three pieces. Uh, the last of which fits over top. The orientation is extremely important over the spring pins and the little uh, key at the 2 o'clock position uh, in reference to me. Alright, after reinstalling the center case and the uh, pump housing, I've cleaned all the surfaces of the old sealant with a razor blade and cleaned it with a brake cleaner as well, as well as the disc of the disc brake and the shoes or pads which I'm going to go ahead and reinstall uh, checking the orientation of the right yeah all right so the brake comes on and squeezes the, the brake shoe okay very good that's good time to now reinstall the uh, or uh, reapply the sealant this comes with the rebuild kit from Tough Torque. Okay, it should be coming out soon. Here we go. Okay, what I've done uh, is applied after cleaning in uh, the surfaces, both surfaces, applied the sealant that's supplied with the uh, rebuild kit around the entire perimeter of the case as well as the internal uh, separate case for the hydraulics. I'm going to reinstall a new internal filter which uh, separ separates the only thing separating the hydraulics from the gearbox uh, as well as the brand new uh, hydraulic filter and the spring that uh, we reuse on the uh, Okay, um, cleaned all surfaces, it's been 20 minutes for the uh, uh, sealant to harden. Missed a spot right there it looks like. Uh, but right now I'm going to reinsert the uh, final gear in the orientation that it came out. Hopefully that will drop right down inside there. small cog is engaging the large gear. The uh, large wheel is engaging the motor gear. Replace the spring on the pump. Checking the uh, parts bucket. Uh, I've used everything that I've taken out and therefore it's time to reinstall the, the lower section of the transaxle case. I have installed the um, internal filter with a little sealant around it. That's the way I found it, so that's the way I reinstalled it. And of course the internal magnet uh, is seated in place in the, in the upper section. So as uh, all surfaces are indeed uh, covered, 
we're going to go ahead and reapply this. And again, it will be with the little sp uh, spring load. So here, here goes nothing. Okay, the two uh, halves of the clamshell are put together, and fitting snugly. It is spring-loaded, so I'm going to hold on to it while I reinstall at least a couple of bolts for the uh, reassembly. Okay, I've completed the reassembly of the uh, lower shell of the transaxle case. Um, tightening 17, count them 17 bolts, to 16 pounds of torque as per the tough torque um, spec sheet. And I do notice that uh, I have a sealant coming out, squeezing out between the, the two cases of the clamshell. And uh, that's a good sign for me. I've re -head and rebolted the uh, throttle linkage back to the base of it. And uh, we're going to let this sit for 24 hours uh, before refilling the crankcase with the uh, 5W50 synthetic. Uh, check back in with you tomorrow for the rebuild and the reassembly of the tractor. This is the G100 to 2003 model and do have um, 700 hours on it. Otherwise, it's a tremendously fantastic trailer or tractor except for the in fact, my wife drove it into a tree once, hitting the gas instead of uh, uh, the brake, and uh, so that's why I put the warning on the front uh, for everyone to watch out when she's driving. And here it is, the, uh, after about a half hour of um, driving around. Taking on a hill like it's brand new.